Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Yoda here on Ark. Now, I've done something here that I haven't done in a very long time, which is... I forgot to turn my mic on. I recorded this video, so I recorded pretty much all of episode 6 with no audio from my beautiful voice. So basically I'll just be... this episode will just be a recap episode of what we did. So, yeah. Um, basically I tamed a Tropio, and then I found a base location which was on the east of Vanaland, had a lot of metal, uh, wood, crystal, and there was an obsidian spot nearby, as well as easy access to water. This was the sort of design I was looking for in the base, this big block on top of the cliff is the foundation, and with like an elevator getting up to it, and I was going to put walls around it. I then decided to do a cave, because, you know, why not? Yeah, you guys know I'm not very good at parkour, I just grappled over this. Alright, let me put the Andrew Sucks on the hopper, that might be smart. And jump. Ooh, I see, I saw a glow. That looked like a drop glow. And of course, everything wants to eat my face as well. Luckily, everything is going to fall to their death. Goodbye. Goodbye, enjoy 200 tick lava. <laughs> on one hand, I like the 200 tick lava because all the lava on the recent maps is really wimpy. Oh, you s. Parkour Scorpion. I don't want to fall in. Because yeah, all the lava on the other maps has been really wimpy recently. Like, the Gen 1 lava is like 20 tick. Same with the and Lost Island lava is, I think, even worse. Like, yeah. Did I see a glow of a drop down there? It was just lava. I mean, everything in this cave is just lava, but still. And there's another arrow through. Don't kill my armor. Auto aim! Goddamn! I hate Arthur so much. They have. Like, I was nowhere near that. I was feeling Gilly on, I guess. Like, yeah, I was nowhere near that thing's shot, but apparently it hit me. Because Arthur's are the most broken things. They're like Dilos. They have auto aim. There's. You know, I'm just gonna grapple. Screw these things. Let's hope they're not get sniped out of the air. Hey, goodbye. I know. You wanna eat my face? And that R3 almost killed got us. But damn. Alright, uh, let's just keep grappling. Oh god, that could have been bad. This cave is so cool looking. And it's really big. Everything, there's so many just dead things around. So yeah, I'm gonna check out the Andrew Sarkis now. Cause, yeah. Cause, yeah, we don't know, I don't think there are as, as many jumps here. And. Yeah, we've got a lot of creatures to deal with. This cave looks really cool, i got to say. Goodbye. The knockback on these things is insane. Yeah, that probably also does torpor like the horse's attack. Yeah, I wouldn't want to do this with my shotgun. Whee! Alright, let's see, what do we got? We got a bridge to the artifact. Unfortunately, I don't see any drops. So that's kind of disappointing. Bats with all of their freaking health. Let's 
there's so many bats. Let those motors go. Surprisingly. Just kick some stuff. It won't let me. Don't push me in the lava. Alright. God damn, everything in this cave is so OP. Get mini gun. That is so fun to use. Yeah, get lovered. Yeah, right, I'm just gonna gamma up so I can okay, no, that's way too weird. Look super washed out. Like Okay. Yeah, the minigun is like really weird on shooting. Because I don't think it should because yeah, it doesn't go in the center of your screen. Something. I think it's just uh, Cause yeah, it doesn't shoot the center of your screen. I don't think. It shoots like weird, like below it. Yeah, no drops, I don't think. And more bats. Why do they think they can take me? Like, I know they're super high levels, but still. Like, I'm a giant, like, pig. Whatever this Andrew Sarkis is. Like, pig, sheep, boar. Well, big boars are pigs, but yeah. Alright, let's see what's down here. Because, yeah, we got the artifact, but. In some games, I have two artifacts, but mostly I want this for the drops. I want to kick something into the lava. That'd be so much fun. This really reminds me of the tech cave. Hello, everything. Yeah, you're very scary. Oh, What's that over there? It's a glowy something. I see a drop glow. Yes, yeah, so it's a yellow drop. Oh, there's two artifacts in this cave. An artifact of the clever. Very nice. Okay, we got three artifacts out of I don't know how many we're gonna need. I think we need just all the island artifacts, which is ten. Yeah, we got three so far. From just yeah, these random caves I've found. I didn't expect this one to have two artifacts. And you're fully oh wow, you're not. Parkour Scorpion. But yeah, this looks so cool. Like the rib cage and stuff. And yeah, we'll get the yellow drop soon. Do that, and put you on passive so you don't get yourself killed. And another rune. I think, yeah, I'll just get it. Whatever, there's 200 of these. No point saving them. Plus it's in a cave. Alright, and let's see, what do you got for us? Okay, fur gloves. That'll be really useful on uh, Jotunheim. Because yeah, I think they nerfed Jotunheim. Because I think they felt minus 90 was too OP. So they just went, like, oh yeah, minus 50. That sounds a little better. Yeah, alright. I don't know if it's worth the risk of trying to jump my Andrew Sucks over that. I don't think it is. I'm just going to cry at you. Because I'd rather not die. Like, I'm very fond of this Andrew Sarkis. What do we got? Just a bunch of meat and stuff. Oh, I'll take that Titan Bow of Venom. Because... And the trank arrows and the normal arrows, I guess. Because your Titan Bow of Venom is very nice. Alright, let's grab a little ribcage. And yeah, let's just run through. That's a snake just chilling with a really good core strength. And is there a jump here? No. Yeah, there's a spider. But yeah, this is a pretty successful run. Like, yeah, we got the two artifacts, which I definitely did not expect. Alright, and parkour. Reminds me of the lava cave on the island. That little jump there. Uh, yeah, nothing exciting there. Let's just keep running up here, and we've got eight grapples. I don't know if that's enough to do the buckle section at the front. Yeah, I don't know why spiders always just take like slightly boosted damage. Like not not boosted enough to really make it like worth it, but like slightly boosted, like 73 to 78. That's like not really much of a boost, but yeah. I don't know why they take it. And it's only from like distance weapons like the Arthro. Yeah. And jump. Alright, I guess we'll have to use either actually do the parkour or use our grapples pretty sparingly. I mean, we can just die right now. It won't matter because we've got a Fjord Hawk. Now let's just do that. Let's take my armor off. I don't think the lava damages your armor, but it might. Okay. That bat was super glitchy. Hello. Yeah, 1v1 you. Yeah. Man vs. Bat. I'll kill it eventually if I just keep circling with my fists. Yeah. Oh, but in fact, this bat is. We're just outmaneuvering it so well. And yeah. 
Sweet. We just got all our inventory taken. Like, fuel talks. Oh crap, no! I don't have a bag there. Whoops. Uh, anywhere close by. That's kind of close. That's nowhere near it. Rick. Alright, um, I guess I'll just spawn back at base and we'll, like, I'll just fly over with my Tropio, you know. And, yeah, we've also got all our kit here from the Fuel Talk because, yeah, these things are insane. I keep saying it, but it's so true. And let's just repair our armor while we're here. We're gonna need to move over everything, but yeah. Okay, let me. Uh, we need fiber for more repairing. And we've got a snow owl camping the area, okay. Also, yeah, the gas goes down so quickly, like on these things. It's ridiculous, you just need so much for level 85, you suck. Why do they do that every time they land? Uh, I guess I'll just cry you. Hello, Dylos. Just cry you and hope that the Dylos don't notice us. Okay, somehow that didn't work. Let's put you in the pod. But yeah, we got both artifacts. We got. Uh, let's get that. Nothing else. No, okay, yeah. It's technically inside a cave, so it's not gonna let me mount it. And yeah, let's get. I guess I'll bring you guys back when we get the. Uh, when we're, yeah, at the base. Because I've mostly finished it. Alright, so. For the grand reveal, this is what I've decided to do. It's really simple, like. Not exactly anything exciting, but. Yeah, this is what I've done. Let me put some gas in you. We got a fridge and we got some air cons on us. And then, yeah, we'll need to make a smithy and fabby and everything. Let's just put you on the. Did not mean to. Yeah. How do you dismount while you're on an elevator? We just don't target the elevator. Um, but yeah, we've got like. Yeah, I don't know where I'm gonna put all this stuff, so I guess I'll just start placing it randomly. So I'll just put this here. And all the air cons for potentially incubating that rock drake egg. I'll have to maybe put them in this corner, so I'll just get rid of this bed. Um, and put the air cons here. Because, yeah, we'll need a crap ton to incubate the rock drake. But we won't really need a crap ton, like, throughout the rest of this, like, playthrough, because uh, the thing with, like, yeah, I plan on using shadow mains for the boss, as I've said. So, yeah, shadow mains are live birth, so, you know, which makes mutations more annoying, but, yeah, we'll just have these things here to hopefully keep us, like, warm and toasty, as well as incubate our eggs, because, yeah, We'll be doing a good bit of breeding, but not, like, insane breeding for, like, army stuff. Why am I not allowed to ride here? There we go. But yeah, guys, I guess I'll bring you back for the final tour. Alright, guys, so we're back, and I've pretty much finished the base. Like, so we've got the balcony here for, pretty much use it for literally nothing, but it's a good, nice view of... Yggdrasil, I think it's called. It's the big world tree in Norse mythology. Uh, yeah, we got the redwoods there, and yeah, we got we can look over our island kingdom here, and yeah, we go in. We've got Jenny. We've got a fridge. We got yeah, a crap ton of aircon. Still, is enough to incubate the egg. Uh, we got a fabby. Uh, we got a vault with pretty much everything that I own in it. I need to like distribute stuff more, but yeah, we got uh, BPs. We got my gear, some ammo, um, apex drops and artifacts and stuff, and uh, more gear. Yes. So, yeah, this base is. Oh, I forgot to put down a bed. Yeah, I have I have one somewhere. I go to see. Yeah, I see transfer all and yeah, everything is in there. I guess I'll put it here because. Yeah, it'll probably mess up the fjord hawk. It'll probably like, because like it likes to put the things in front of the bed. But whatever. Speaking of the fjord hawk, do you have any levels? Yes, you do. It just keeps getting all these passive levels because I'm just like, yeah, just chilling with it. I need to get a high level one, but yeah, for now this is good enough. But yeah, we have a base now, guys. A proper base instead of a wooden two by two. But yeah, 
Um, that will be it for today's episode. I need to harvest all this metal and crystal and stuff. That'll be very nice. But yeah, that's it for today's episode of Fjorda. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. And yeah, guys, I'll be seeing you all in the next video. Goodbye. And yeah, goodbye.